What's up guys, it's Josh Vastorm, and welcome back to Bloody Ball! That being said, one thing that I actually just found out a moment ago is after that last orc video, we actually ended that competition. And therefore, I'm actually essentially out of the competition unless I need to run unless I want to start an entirely new one, which I don't particularly want to. So instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna start a camp we're gonna actually gonna start a campaign. In which I stay as one team and go on and on, as far as I really would like to. So the real question is now, what team do I want to play? I could be a goblin team, which should probably be a bad idea. Could be a vampire team, which would probably also be a bad idea. I already did an orc, so I'm not going to do an orc, and I already have a lizard man team. So, what I'm actually going to do... Is I'm going to try something I actually haven't before. I am actually going to play as... Well, I'm not actually entirely sure yet. I could play as a halfling, totally. That'd be wonderful. Because <laughs> that would just go great by some miraculous way. I, I like winning, so I'm going to say no on that one. Um, but what I think I might actually do... Is I think I'm actually going to go with a high elf team. Now, High Elves are very, very, very good at throwing the ball. Which is why I maybe... You know, maybe not that. A Goblin team would be just for kicks and giggles, but it would not turn out well, so... So I'm probably not going to do that. Ogres are just a bad idea. Well, hmm... I'm not going to do Underworld. <laughs> Um, you know what? Let's actually go High Elf. Yeah, let's let's do High Elf. We'll do High Elf. Now I just need to choose the right thing. If I could find something that looks like a lightning bolt, that'd be very cool. Let's see. I don't look like I can find anyone that's particularly like a lightning bolt right now, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, right there. And let's make it red, of course, just like, just like our th everything of ours, and we will be, hmm, we'll be the Stormbringers. Did you get it, Valid Storm? Ha 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 ha! And we're gonna change the uh, team motto. Well, due to my typical opening, what's up, guys? It's Josh Valenstorm. And that will be our team motto. So let's begin a campaign. Obviously, I have to take part in this first spot here. So let's go ahead and go there. Now, the High Elves are very, very good at passing. So I am naturally going to pick up two Blitzers, because that's just typical. I'm going to pick up two Throwers. Four Catchers, for sure. And I'm going to go pick myself up some Linemen. And now I'm all out of cash, so... That's going to be what I'm going to have to go with there. Can I buy a reroll? I can buy a single reroll. That's not a bad idea, honestly. Let's buy a reroll and let's prepare our match. Going up against some Lizardmen first. That's okay. I do like the Lizardmen. I'm going to go with some extra team train because I like having rerolls, especially when I throw the ball. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. I'm going to choose Tails, because I feel like I win more times with Tails up, and I lost, naturally, the one time I say it. Well, let's see. What start do I want to go? I'm probably going to go with, uh... Let's see. I might actually go with that. I kind of like the way that's... I kind of like that setup, honestly. Yeah, it looks okay. I have my two Blitzers back here, my three linemen right there. Not... There we go. I think I'm actually going to keep that. I'm going to save this as attacking formation. And I will accept. Let's punt let's punt the ball away. 
and see and see what happens when we begin. A nice gentle blood bowl gust weather type thing. As they keep going back and forth amongst themselves, trying to catch that ball. Now I have I actually am quite fond of the of the lizardmen. I really enjoyed my lizardmen team I had. But they have certain things that are obviously a bit of a weakness of theirs. And the fact that half their team is rather, rather scrawny. They certainly have some issues. As in they're gonna get hit a lot. And if you really want to win, the good thing to do is you take kill their kill the skinks first. And then try and watch, uh, try and watch some sources pick up the ball, <laughs> because then you're in for a treat. Because that one agility makes it very difficult to pick anything up. <laughs> like I said, I, they're set, they have a actually relatively decent formation they're setting up. This might not go amazingly, but we shall see. We shall see. I expect it to kind of get knocked around a little bit there. Wow, I've already gotten an injury. Wow. <laughs> That's actually quite embarrassing. If I do say. <laughs> Injured by a skink. That is never something you like to see. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, I can't really do anything there. I can pick you up, though. My lineman here can probably try and punch the skink. I'm not going to bother trying to follow. Hmm... Let's see, what can I do? Well, might be able to potentially, uh, let's see, what's my catcher? For agility, I might actually be able to move in there. I have a reroll in case I don't succeed. I think I will. I will try and reroll. As I use my, my singular reroll. And I'm going to try a one die block. Oh, and that didn't work. Hmm. Might have been might have been a miscalculation there. Now I don't generally play as the elf teams just because I ge I generally play bashier. I figured I'd be able to try something new. And elves are most certainly not are generally not entirely. Uh... Oh, I have a blitz right there. Well, I'm gonna have to. I, I am gonna have to kill a skink one of these days. Cool thing. The cool but bad thing with skinks is that they can legitimately score in one turn. Which is generally not a good thing, in all honesty. You wouldn't have gathered, eh? Let's see. Let's see what this skink does. That's going amazingly. That's just going amazingly. Ha ha! Well, let's try. I'm gonna try and move you here. There we go. I'm going to try and move you there. Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to try a reroll there. That's not particularly ideal. See if I can succeed this time of trying to tackle them. And of course I don't, because the dice hate me today. Of course they do. This is going amazingly thus far. Hmm... Now they're probably going to have their skink run their way through here. I might have to hit them with a... I'm going to have to hit them with somebody. Probably. I might have to use my thrower. Hmm, I'm not sure. Ooh, with that sorcerer, though, that might be a problem. Because I have just been rolling terribly to start off this game. <laughs> see, what can I do? Am I going to get knocked away? Of course I am. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move you there. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-roll this one. Is this guy going to get lucky? Oh, maybe. I hope so. My catcher. I don't have any blitzers up, do I? I do have a blitzer I can get up. Will it succeed? Hey, it actually succeed. There we go. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. And now this is where it's going to get difficult. Um, well, I can just move some of my uh, people around a little bit. Might be able to uh, make it so it makes it rather difficult for, uh, for, the, for the skinks to pick up the ball. And if they do, in fact, miss, I might get a chance to actually get it up there, which would be wonderful. Hmm. Well, 
All right, I'm going to go and suppose I can kind of do a little bit of a counter cage, I suppose. I'm going to have a rather difficult time trying to get around here, so yeah, let's end the turn. <laughs> oh, my one catcher there is probably going to get wrecked. <laughs> let's see what these skinks and sources try and do. Well, that was not particularly good. <laughs> Knocked out by a skink. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> and of course he picked it up. Because the, the AI always picks up the ball easily. And they scored. So that was not great. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that was a wonderful, wonderful start. Uh, I'm going to head and go put my thrower underneath the ball here. As he fails to grab that. Hmm, well, I'm going to try and get my revenge on this little skink here because he's annoying. Oh, wonderful. Let's see, I might be able to get a... Uh, Thrower up relatively well, or a catcher up relatively well. I might get two catchers up eventually. Well, here's what I'm going to actually try and do. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this ball here. Suppose I can probably, uh... Actually, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to throw the ball. Going to go ahead and go up here now. And I'm going to try and hit this, knock the skink down. I'm not going to follow. I'm going to move this guy here so I can basically form a little bit of a cage around my catcher there. And try and score next turn, because that, that would be nice if I could score next turn. Not entirely expecting to, as far as it goes, but it's worth a try. Let's end the turn. Oh, cool. I hit that guy. That's rel that's a relatively good start, actually. Let's go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and score. I'm not even going to try attacking. I'm just going to go and take my guy in and score. And score. Good. Now, the elves are obviously not particularly bashy, because elves themselves are not particularly bashy, or not a particularly bashy uh, group. I have to end up moving my blitzer there. I don't like doing that, but that's what, I have, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Let's hit accept. Yeah, I know I don't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Let's kick off. And we get a blitz turn. That is actually rather good with me. I'm fine with that. Let's see if I can kill some skinks. <laughs> nope, just a push. But I can probably. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Well, I'm actually going to try and do it. Let's see. What can I do here that could be... That to do could be kind of cool, or it could be terrible. I'm not sure which. It's one or the other, though. I can guarantee that. <laughs> Just go ahead and move my uh, throwers up. I look forward to not getting, you know, be down as much as I have been. Let's see, what can I do with you, bro? I'm just going to move you there. I'll move that catcher there. At least to mark their skinks. They'll probably get away, but in case they don't. All right. I'm getting blitzed, which is not entirely surprising. Sources are a bit rough. <laughs> See what? Okay, and I'm gonna try and do this. This could work, or this might not. Okay, I'm probably gonna end up trying to blitz with my blitzer here in a moment. What I could do could be could be rather clever. It could go. It could be a disaster. I'm not entirely sure which yet. I gotta say, it'll be one or the other because that's usually how it goes. It's one or the other. 
Let's see. I don't have. I don't have. What blitzer do I have open? And where can I actually attack? Well, not gonna risk that. So first things first. I'm gonna try and knock this guy down. Good. I won't bother following. Next, I can probably try and. Uh, I'm gonna try and blitz that. It's. I will, in fact, follow. And I'll move there just to be in, just to be within range. I can give myself a little support. That would be nice. Just a push. I'm not going to bother following. Slime, I can probably do some damage onto him. Yep, did some damage there. Again, not going to bother following. I'm going to go run this guy up here. My thrower there. Ah, this thrower is also going to go up there. Well, I can probably avoid getting tackled relatively well, I feel. He's agility enough. I'm not necessarily worried about that. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and re-roll and run the go for it. See if I can potentially <laughs> knock knock their source out. That'd be great if I could. And I will actually follow him. To at least to at least block him, and I'm sorry, lineman, you're just gonna stay right there. <laughs> let's see it. Let's see what happens here. I'm not entirely sure why they blitzed him. I suppose we'll see in a moment. Awesome, okay. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and... uh, oh, try to do is going to be a little bit of a two-parter. I would end up saying. Okay, well, you're going to get tackled. You're going to tackle you. Um, okay, well, who can I blitz now? Can I blitz anybody? I can blitz. I'm going to go ahead and blitz you. I don't really like blitzing with a catcher, but it might work. Or I could fall on my face. I thought my idea was going to be better than it was in the end. Ah, okay, well, it turned out to be okay, I suppose. All right, so turn eight. If I could get another point in, I'd be relatively happy with myself, actually. So I'm going to try and, uh... I'll try. Well, I knocked him out. Hmm. I will, in fact, follow. Going to have to probably, uh... Hmm, that's never going to work. <laughs> well... Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? Is I really would love to have a couple extra turns here. So, let's see. I'm what I'm gonna do. It might work. It might not. But it, I think it's worth a try at least. Yeah, it didn't work. I was hoping it would. I was not entirely expecting it to. But I would have gotten another point in. So I still have one guy injured. But, I did not get any of theirs out. But I'm getting the ball here anyway. So that'll be good. So I will throw another person in there. So let's see. People are allowed to move one square. That's fine by me, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and move you up there. You are going to go here. Uh, you people are going to go here and here, respectively. Go ahead and move you there. You there. And you there, I think. Love to get an extra turn just to blitz with him, but that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> now, let's see what I can do here. So first things first is I'm going to... Hmm. I might actually try and pick the ball up first, which is not something I usually do first. So let's go ahead and see what I can, in fact, do. Well, 
Go ahead and throw it right to my catcher there. Who I figured was going to be able to catch it. Ooh, their little skink had block. I'm not going to follow, actually. And maybe I should have. Oh, well, too late now. Knock him out. Hmm. Go ahead and move. Well, I go ahead and move a catcher up here. I was just going to stay where he's at. Move that catcher up. Probably blitz with this catcher. Because I can, because it's a little skink. Yeah, he pushed it away. I am, in fact, going to move. Okay. I'm going to try and push my way out of here. I know he has dodge, and that's fine, but I can push my way out, and I'll be a little happier with myself. Go move my thrower there. I'd hate to lose a thrower, because they are so good. But it might not end up being the worst thing in the world. Might not be. We'll see. But I can go ahead and move you there. Anybody who hasn't gone yet. I could keep going, but I don't want to risk it just yet. Because what I'm going to try and do might be a little clever, and it might actually work in the end. Uh, it'll take two turns to... Ooh, perfect. See, how far can you go? You can go over there. I can legitimately... Well, first things first, you're going to try and tackle this. You're going to tackle this skink here with a nice little block. I was hoping that causes some injury. Oh, well. Good, that was a hit there. I'll go ahead and say yes, I will. Good, that was an injury. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I can go ahead and move you over here. And that ball off. Um... Mark, Mark their source, which just sounds like a dinosaur name, Mark their source. <laughs> Try and knock him away. Try and knock you away. I'm not going to bother following. Well, try and do a little bit of damage to you there. I'll follow. Okay. And you, I'm just going to try and kill this. Eh, I have enough rerolls. I will, in fact, fall to get out of that way of that source there. At least they have to, at least they have to blitz. And, uh, and I'll just go ahead and blitz this little skink. I'll probably be okay. I didn't really care that my turn was over there. It didn't matter to me. I have the source marked. Oh, perfect. And well, there's another. That's another score for me. Woo! There was a score. Scores two one. I've injured two of their skinks, so that's always a good thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do. Uh, what was it? Was it a track center? Was when I did? I think no. It was Zulu. Zulu was the. Yeah, Zulu was the one. Yes. Let's go ahead and kick off. Okay. <laughs> of course, it just went right through his arms, the arms of their sores, because that's what sources do. So assuming I kill enough skinks, I, I'll win. <laughs> Two ones are relatively decent lead right now, though, so I can be relatively okay with that. See what happens. Okay. So I really am. I don't want them to score. Oh, perfect. That was very good there. I'm okay with that. Maybe I can follow up with another injury to this skink here. Am I going to get lucky? Am I going to get lucky? Oh, I was not lucky. That's okay, though.
Go ahead and push you away. Uh, I will follow. Don't necessarily need to follow, but I'm going to follow anyway. And let's go move my catchers up a little more. I'm going to try and keep them away from getting tackled because I really would hate to have them die as far as it goes. Well, let's see. I suppose I can probably move... Uh, if I move my blitzer right here, we can maybe knock this guy out. Yeah, it's a push, but that's not terrible. I'll go ahead and move that guy up. And I'll go ahead and move this guy up as well. That looks relatively okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Not worried. Skinks are not known for their throwing ability, so I am not worried about about a pass. <laughs> yeah, this is, might hurt a little bit, though. Oh, it didn't actually hurt that much. That's surprising, and I'm okay with that, actually. <laughs> if I could keep them contained, that'll be good. It means a relatively decent win for me, I would feel. At least I would hope. And I'm, am I getting a free blitz, essentially? Damn, that would be absolutely wonderful. A little push there. I think I am going to get a free blitz out of this, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, well, first things first is you're going to get tackled. That's a reroll. That's not really that much better. That's okay. I'm going to follow that. You are going to... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to be a little risky here, I think. I can get a one die block, good. Wow. Means I should get a very nice, easy tackle here, ideally. Okay, now I'm going to... Yeah, I can probably do that. I'm sure I can dodge that. I'm not worried about that. If I could get another point out of this, that would be great. I would love that. If I can see if I can wreck this skink's day. <laughs> I didn't necessarily wreck its day, but it's okay. Hmm. That guy and that skink just dodged, because you know. Good old dodge. They all have it. I'm trying to move my thrower here. I really don't like moving my thrower there, but it's okay. A little push out of the way, and I'm not going to follow. <laughs> And I really have no need for anything with this guy here, so I'm just going to go ahead and move him right here in case I have to, in case this guy gets tackled, I have to run over that way. There we go on that turn there. I'm expecting their source to blitz me, and that's probably not going to be good. He has block. I knew that was going to happen. That's also why I have this guy right here, just in case. I'm going to have to probably try and blitz him. Pick up the ball and then try and score is what I'm going to try and do. Which is why I moved my catcher here, just in case. This got a little more complicated now. But I'll give it a try, at least. Hmm. See, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I don't think I'm, I don't think I stand a chance, actually. End of match. I mean, let's see. How many tackle zones will I have to dodge out of? Only one. Well, maybe. I might actually be able to do that. That would actually not be terrible. I have faith in myself. I will re-roll that. I'm just going to go ahead and move him up there. Stand him up. Yeah, so I'm not going to do anything else this turn, really. It's okay, though. <laughs> Might be able to knock out their source, because I'd, I'd actually be very okay if I could knock out their source. Let's see. Can I actually knock out the source? Is it even possible? 
It's possible. I'm just not like not necessarily likely. I'm not gonna bother following. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go mark some people, I suppose. Go and move them there, move my other catcher down there. So at least they have to go a long way around. There we go. Dual block, okay. Awesome, okay. So, alrighty. Do I have a thrower up right now? Yes, I have a... Th this could be fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and reroll that to pick that up. Let's see. Hmm. Well, huh. So this might be fantastic. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Good, good, good. A couple more skinks down. That's always a good thing. Is I actually using no safe? Yeah, that looks a little... Well, no. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Let's kick off, and there we go. Awesome. This means I'm probably going to win this, which is great. I actually like that a lot. It makes me very happy. I'm just going to accept because I don't really need to adjust anything anymore. That's just going to be all about trying to level up my uh, blitzers and stuff. Guess my singular blitzer. Because <laughs> turn 16, no matter how hard I try, I legitimately cannot actually get to where I want to go. So... Yeah, it's a little bit fun instead. Just try and cause injuries. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's alright, I won 3-1. to one. That's a relatively, relatively commanding victory. Because they can't score two points in one turn, so that's good. So I'd just love to cause some injuries here would be what I would like to do, but I'm not going to expect to. Good old victory, though. I'm actually relatively okay with that. Only had one injury. I don't know what that injury is going to cause to my uh, that one guy, so that's not bad. I don't actually know what the broken jaw does. I suppose I will find out in a moment. And there we go. End of match. I am not going to re-roll, because I did get a 6 for that. That's not going to be a re-roll. Re-rollable. So let's see. Do I have to level up anybody? No, I don't need to level up anybody. What happened to my... What happened to the guy? What happens with that? Okay, I just missed the next game on my lineman. It was just a lineman, though, so it wasn't terrible. I probably could go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, I might purchase one more uh... lineman. I wouldn't necessarily like to do that. But it gives me at least 12. It gives me an extra one in case somebody goes down again. I'm actually going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Or subscribe if you're new to, if you're new to Taylor and I's channel. In the next episode, who are we actually... Who are we facing next episode? Next episode, we'll go against an orc team. So this will be entertaining. Go against some orcs. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys.